home within your family. If you're someone that's single and you're by yourself and you want to stay single all your life and live your life with your cats and dogs or parrots or whatever you have, that's your business. That's fine. That's your family and you want to be solid in that. This is for you. If you are a person who has offspring, have children, have a significant other or a spouse that you're looking to uh, grow and be a better, stable, grounded individual so that you can show up as a better contributor to your um, relationship with your significant other, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, and your children if you have them, whether you're in a blended family or not, you want to make sure that you are showing up your best so that, you know, that will inspire your significant other, your other half, your children to do the same thing. You know what I mean? But it starts with you. You can't focus on, you know, the other person in your commitment, you know, on what they need to do and you're not all together on your end. And what you working on, you will do is show the truth of who you're with and whether or not you're on the same page and you're going to grow and have a family and build a legacy together. Because sometimes we find out that we were mature in our decision making of who we chose to have children with. That's a real thing. We were immature. We didn't know any better. So, you know, we're with someone that we can't necessarily see ourselves growing, evolving, and building a legacy with. So when that happens, we have to make decisions to support what it is that we desire to do. And I'm not talking to everybody about this course. <laughs> you know, this conversation isn't going to be for everyone. Everyone doesn't have um, or want to have or care to have the mindset that, you know, is liberating, that is freeing, that is um, about taking personal responsibility and accountability, you know, for your own well-being mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and financially so that anyone that you connect with, whether that is in a family, whether that is in a job, whether that is in a business, whether that is in a organization um, that you're sharing the same common goal and purpose, you know, however you show up, wherever you show up in your life, you are doing that your best. That's what this is about. So the message here is to release your resentments about money, whatever you were taught that was limiting, that was out of alignment with the truth of, you know, you have access, your birthright is abundance, it is, you know, a connection with the most high God, the divine source that provides whatever it is that you ask for, as long as you're in alignment and doing the work that you're supposed to be doing to receive it and manage it respectfully and responsibly. So with that being said, exercise. The message that is coming to me with that is, you know, lazy. <laughs> we have um, an abundance of people who are lazy. And I can say that because I'm seeing um, people take the easy way out of transforming, you know, their physical appearance versus, you know, taking the, the time, the commitment, the self-discipline um, to invest in their bodies, you know, in exercising, in eating healthy. Now, I understand that some people's availability to those resources to support that can be limiting. And, you know, some people don't have the accessibilities that others have. I get that. But those that do and choose to take the quick, easy, lazy route out. <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about, if you know what I'm talking about. Exercising is going to help you um, appreciate the results that you get. It's going to help you um, appreciate how you feel when you remember that when you were out of shape or when you um, didn't have the physical appearance that you wanted. Um, or your health was, you know, suffering when you exercise your body 
um, to restore, to transform, you know, those things, those results, those images. You appreciate it more. You want to hold on to it. You want to do the things that are going to help you maintain um, those results, or it's going to want to inspire you to keep going and striving to see, you know, what better results you can get, you know, when it comes to transforming your body or, you know, gaining flexibility or gaining strength and muscle mass and the things that are going to help you feel better, look better and have more energy, which are all the things that you want anyway. So on top of it, doing it for those reasons, we get back to abundance because this is our abundance message, our money message about finances. We can't just look at what's in the bank and not look at ourselves is what I'm saying. So how you look, how you show up in life is going to um, be the determining factor as to the opportunities that you attract, the creative energy that you have to um, build on those opportunities when they show up. Because we attract things that we want, we know uh, the secret by now and the laws of attraction, although there is plenty of other spiritual laws that um, are connected to the law of attraction, but a lot of us like to focus on the law of attraction because we want, we want, we desire, we want things. So, you know, the law of attraction plays a part into that. So we look at, I want this house, I want this car, I want this degree, I want this relationship, I want this family, I want this, but with what we want, what we're asking for, are we able to maintain it? Are we ready to maintain it? Do we have the tools in our tool belts, in our toolkits, in our work bags to take care of our business, to manage what we're asking for? You know, we look at the divine masculine and divine feminine, which is the energy that we focus on embodying in OGs United. That's what an organized God and an organized goddess is emperor or empress you know it is one who has mastered you know the fire element the queen of wands the air element the um queen of swords this is the peace that you cannot buy send me in love that